Citizen TV journalist Wahiga Mora testified against former sports ministry and National Olympics uh, committee members in the Rio fiasco that blemished Kenya's 2016 appearance at the Olympics. Wahiga lifting the lead on the fiasco in his testimony that a number of officials in the Kenyan delegation were in fact foreign and not ministry uh, of sports officials. I, I don't know. You've just given it to me. I hadn't seen it before. But you, you tell me. You've never seen this. No. The Citizen TV journalist took to the stand to shed light on the Rio fiasco that dogged Team Kenya in Brazil's 2016 Olympics. Waihiga, who documented wanton corruption in Team Kenya testifying on the goings on during the Olympic Games. When I was summoned to the DCI's office, I was there at their call to answer their questions. Appearing before Milimani Court Judge Justice Elizabeth Osoro, the Citizen TV journalist testified for nearly four hours where he revealed that he was on a list from the sports ministry as a recipient of 100,000 shillings stipend without his knowledge. He further told the court of people who were in the Team Kenya list whose identity was foreign as he was conversant with most athletes and knock officials. Having covered athletics for a long time and having followed Team Kenya's progression from when they went to trials in Eldred to training to departures, those individuals had not come up. Defense teams countered the testimony, saying that the strangers comprised security officers and media liaison from the Ministry of Sports. We were not aware of, and that is what we chose to pose as questions. He interviewed the athletes. Gave, uh... It was Wahiga's testimony that he interviewed officials who felt mistreated during the Olympic Games, among them Catherine Dereba and John Anzra. The defense, however, maintained that the two traveled before their scheduled travel deaths. Former Sports Minister Hassan Wario, Richard Ekai, a former PS in the Ministry of Sports, Stephen Soy, are among Kenyan sports officials then charged with abuse of office and misappropriation of 55 million shillings during the Rio de Janeiro Brazil 2016 Olympics. The defense team's head objected to the journalist testifying on account of an investigative documentary he produced dubbed Rio Fiasco that aired on Citizen TV. The advocates had maintained that the story was based on hearsay and no facts, but the magistrate overruled their contention on the basis that the witness was on oath and had no problem giving testimony on the same. Sam again, Citizen TV, Nairobi.